Jamaicans across the globe and Sharika Jackson celebrate sweet revenge in Eugene as Sharika Jackson becomes the Diamond League 100 meter champion and Elaine thomas Hera runs her fastest race for 2023. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, enjoy the content. Please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yeah, good to go. Well, after not being able to defeat Shakari Richardson of the United States in the women's 100 meters for the entire 2023 season. Sharika Jackson pulls out a incredible win, crushing the field and proving that she is on her way to a double, and I mean it, a double Diamond League title. Winning the women's 100 meters against a stellar field, including Natasha Morrison of Jamaica, uh, Dina Asher Smith of Great Britain, cousin Dina, of course. Shakari Richardson of the United States, the favorite going in. Marie Jussie Talou of Cote d'Ivoire. And of course, the remarkable returning to form Elaine Thompson Hera. She won in a time of 10.70 and looked as if she had a lot more left in those legs. Sharika Jackson took the Diamond League title of the women's 100 meters in a time of 10.70 with Marie Jussie Talou running 10.75 equaling her season's best and Elaine thompson Hera running 10.79 to take the third position or her season's best and Shakari Richardson ran 10.80 to take that fourth position. Twanisha T.T. Terry ran 10.83, um, a season's best to come fifth with Natasha Morrison running a personal best of 10 points of 10.85 to take that sixth position with Dina Asher Smith running 10.96 to come seventh. Jackson in six. Oh, finally, after an entire season, Sharika Jackson gets the win against the American Shakari Richardson. Of course, you do remember the finals at the World Championships just recently when Jackson came second to Shakari Richardson. They're away first time. Can Shelly Ann Fraser Price deliver? She's got a good start, but watch Sharika Jackson. Oh, on the near side! It's an incredible performance from Shakari Richardson, her first global final. And of course, that final leg in the 4x100 meter relay when both ladies clashed and once more, Sh Sharika Jackson was simply unable to catch Shakari Richardson. United States against Jamaica, side by side. The 100 meter champion against the 200 meter champion, Richardson Jackson. She's closing, but not fast enough. It's gold for the Americans. Redemption, brilliant performance, absolutely superb. Even on her birthday, Sharika Jackson this year lost to Shakari Richardson over the women's 100 meters. And they do go to well. Savoda with her Sh Sharika Jackson in the middle, trying to stretch away from Richardson. Richardson digging deep. Richardson coming good in the close. This race now this of course is my two cents well we were right and we weren't right we were right because we had predicted that elaine thompson hera would have beaten shakari richardson which is exactly what happened in this instance we also said we hoped we really hoped that uh talu would have at least gotten a second place which she did in this instance you know i'm a huge huge fan of marie josie talu of court court devoir I just absolutely love her. Awesome, awesome talent. Consistent as the day is long. Um, Elaine Tom Tejera, 10.79. Underline that. Remember what I've been talking about? We've done three videos on her. Be very afraid. I've been right about 61% of the time to go check our averages. I haven't crunched those numbers, but I know it's somewhere around there. When we're wrong, we're wrong. But when we're right, we're truly right. And I'm going to say it again. At her best, she cannot be beaten.
she's the fastest woman alive 10.54 so therefore at her best she's running 10.54 and there's nobody even close be very afraid be very afraid people i am not exaggerating now shakari richardson um just was not a great race for her got out of the blocks terribly and uh, just like what happened two years ago nothing happened after 60 meters uh she just didn't fire but you know she's had a long season like everyone else and um i honestly did not think she was going to win i think th there was a possibility but i think i made it clear in the last video that i didn't think she was going to win um and that was right now i didn't say i didn't i i thought that sharika jackson would be a factor i said it but i also thought that she might be holding back something because i think she wants to try and tackle that world record tomorrow but she ran flat out people 10.70 is no joke uh, especially at the end of the season so sharika jackson was on fire I, I, i'm sorry i apologize for the regulars sharika jackson was on fire <laughs> she was incredible um this was a great race natasha morrison by the way scores a new pb 10.85 awesome 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 this was a very very fast race now i also said this might have been the fastest race for the season i was wrong the fastest race, race for the season were at world championships in the finals when she carrie richardson ran that incredible incredible 10.65 and um uh, uh sharika ran this this the, the fastest second place a time in the history of world championships and Il and shelly ann ran the fastest third place time in the history of world championships go check the stats we're not ever wrong here so i'm telling you this was blistering but i know that many many jamaicans and i'm not being controversial i'm not being you know terrible or rude um but i say revenge but people we, the yardies will tell you we wanted to win first and second in Eugene. We, we, we really wanted to win. We were happy that because Sha Shakari seems to be a wonderful and loving person with amazing talent and I'm a huge fan. But yeah, deep down in our heart, we didn't want to win first and second. We didn't want, want a goal and a silver quinella right there. So that's a fact. We actually wanted it. So for us, it's kind of like, a, a, you know, like, like, like sweet revenge, you know, kind of thing because we won. At least the Diamond League is not a World Championship, but at least it's a, you know, a Diamond League. And, you know, it's very, very funny. Someone had just, uh, I just read a comment before the race that someone is saying that um, they have Sherika Jackson's weakness. My brother, what do you mean by that? I don't even understand what that means. What that mean? What weakness? You're not going to win every day, boss. Not even, you see seeing Bolt one every day. See? She finally beat the young lady. She figured out the formula. She beat her. She hasn't beat her all year, but she beat her so it means that she can beat her again um and as i've said they both they both had the same pb of 10.65 so i don't know why there's a discussion but amazing run sweet revenge for jamaicans and sharika jackson as jackson wins the diamond league women's 100 meter title with a time of 10.70 trouncing the field and of note underlined jamaica's elaine thompson hera ran her season's best of 10.79 underline that that's really important and big up to marie jesse talu now this of course is my two cents now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit notification bell hit the like but remember you are royals kings and queens bless us